Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these uh, signature power cords by Russ Andrews. Okay, so he's using a clip seal plug on this end and on this end he's using a Wattgate 360 and AG which is silver plated. Now in my opinion this plug looks fancy but it's just basic, a basic plug. It's got no plate in the contacts inside are quite small and um, the watt gate's superb but, but this end is the weakest point. Now I think with these new power cords, this is an older one, he's, uh, he's addressed that with a different style plug now. Uh, this is a 24 woven cable. Um, as you can see inside the plug there, I'm not sure you can see, there's 12 conductors either side. Okay, so now... This is one I made before, which I've been using in my system. This is my version of that. Now, this is better in my opinion. The cable is virtually identical. You won't be able to see it in here, but you'll see it as the video starts, as I'll show you how to make it. This is a superb plug. This is absolutely the dog's kahunas. Um, Vanguard uh, make these. These come from, uh, from China. But this is quality, this is an imitation of, of a Furatech, which I have loads of those in my system. And believe you me, these are just as good, a fraction of the price. And this at this end is a very nice Vanguard uh, 28 Alpha. This is also silver plated. Now I've put the, uh, the Union Jack sticker on there just to say that this has been assembled in the UK. And we've got a very nice uh, braid on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head out into the uh, workshop and just show you how to uh, make one of these beautiful power cords. So these are all the uh, products and the tools and the materials that we need to uh, do this job today. So the first most important bit is our 12TC cable. Now this comes direct from China. This is identical to the Russ Andrews uh, 12TC. Uh, other people may disagree, but I've done my listening tests. I've got the Russ Andrews one, and I've got this one. And I've done my listening test. I've already made one of these up, um, and it's really, really good. So we need that. Then we're going to need a, an earth wire to run through the centre of the, the cable. And then we're going to need some braid. This is a very nice black braid with gold through it. Uh, we need some silver solder, some heat shrink. And uh, these are the pierce de resistance, these beautiful plugs, which I showed you before. Uh, they've got really nice big terminals to, to bolt down, to really tighten down the uh, conductors, which is going to be fabulous. And then this is the, the, the gorgeous um, 20 amp. This is this is a 20 amp IEC. Now, you can use a normal IEC on this, a 15 amp or 13 amp. I can't remember what it is. It's 10 amp, isn't it? Um, which, which you can do. But for, for this video, I'm just using this because I'm going to be using this cable myself. Again, um, <clears throat> you need a soldering iron. You need a heat gun. You need an array of tools, some screwdrivers, a um, wire strippers, a knife, and, and some uh, pliers just to cut the wire. And uh, I think that's it. We're going to be using some cake deoxit and some deoxit gold as well to treat all the conductors and everything else. Right, so we're going to start with our, our cables. So what I've done is I've already, to speed the video up, I've already stripped and soldered the wires on this end. So all I've got to do now is just to tease this out and do exactly the same thing. So um, this is going to be the, the, the plug end, uh, the 13 amp plug, and this is going to be the IEC plug end. So we just want to tease all these, these conductors out. So I'm probably going to go a bit quiet now because I'm just going to crack on with it to show you how it's done.
Now this is quite fiddly. So we've teased a lot of those out. So all we've got to do now, I've got to take our wire strippers here and just start stripping the um, the insulation off. This is Teflon insulation and this cable is made from Ono Continuous Cast Copper. Right, there we go. So we want to strip them off so we can get the... Um, so we can twist them together and solder them. There's 24 conductors here. easy to miss one of these so you've got to just work your way around the cable stripping every one of these off I mean this is this does make a wonderful <clears throat> power cord and it also makes very good speaker cable as well miss that one there Okay, we're nearly there, we're getting there. Lots of conductors, this is loads of conductors. 24 of them, as I say. No one. Get more for that one there. Right, nearly there. <coughs> There's another one there. Right, I think we're nearly there. Yep, I think that's all of that, all of them there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, white ones to one side. And the clear ones to the other. We can work that one out over here. Try to twist that over here. Now I'm filming this today on the tripod on my own, so I've set it up in front here, so I can't stop the video because it's uh, I can't get round the back. So you'll just have to uh, bear with me. There we go. Right, so. Now, this is where we've got to twist one side together and the other. It's a bit complicated. Need to move those over a bit more. Right, so those ones have got to come through a bit more just to get them. There we go, that's better. Right, and the same with a couple of these ones, because otherwise they go a bit short, you see, so you need to get them around properly. Feed them through. That's it. Are we getting on there with that? Still the same with that one there. 
needs to come up and through there. Right, so that's all going to be soldered together that side. And this is going to be soldered together this side. So we need to put the soldering iron on now. And then what we're going to be doing then is we're going to be pushing our earth wire through the centre. But before we solder that off, we need to do that now. So, um... This is our earth here. Right, that's the earth wire. Um, so, our um, to come around the front here again. Our earth wire now has to be friddled through. So we're going to start through this end here. There we go. Now this is a thick, rather thick, thick gauge earth wire here. And the reason I'm using this is this is going to be the uh, power cord that's running my balance mains unit. There we go, straight out the other end. That's perfect there. So we're just going to chop this off around about there for now. And that one's okay for now. So... What we need to do now is we need to just start soldering all, the, all of these wires up together there. There you go. They've got to go into the, um, into the plug, into the IEC plug. So we've got some uh, solder here already. Let's see whether that's hot enough yet. We must make sure that all of these conductors are connected. We don't want any rogue ones hanging out anywhere. Now, Russ Andrews, he charges uh, quite a lot of money for that reference power cord that he makes. And uh, this is... I'm going to say this off the top of my head. I think you can make this for about... These are £27. These are £33. So what's that? Uh, what a 60 Um The cable's around about £14 delivered. £14, £15, £75. All in all, you could you can produce this for, for at least uh, 100 or maybe uh, 90. Now the Russ Andrews equivalent to this is the Kimba that he does is uh, it's considerably more valid than that. Quite a bit. And the reason I'm doing this video is I discovered this, this cable and I thought I wanted to give it a try. And um, it's for all you guys that don't want to make any cabling yourself. Because it can be quite tricky. You've got to really know what you're doing of. And although you can see me making these on these videos. I've got years of experience of doing this. And um, and it's not that easy just to do it straight off. Now this is because you're already buying a cable already made. See we want to make sure we get every single conductor there. Right, so um, <clears throat> the camera went off at a certain point there, so um, it's a bit amateur. Anyway, we've got the cable all ready to go. But, so now all we've got to do now is we, we want to use our, uh, we want to make this look very professional by using our braid to go over the wire. You wouldn't need to, you could just leave it like that, but I think it still looks better to me it, it will make the cable wear better as well with a with a nylon braid around it so um so what we need to do now is just to push all these together so we can get them through this braid we'll put that down the back there underneath and we're just going to put the uh the nylon braid over the top 
I can get it over there. Right, so this is fraying out a little bit there. So what we're going to do is just chop that off for a bit with the scissors, and then we're going to just singe the back of of the braid with our um, with our soldering iron, just to seal the uh, all these uh, strands in place. Because otherwise, what happens is is they'll land up all flipping out. And I think this is over. I've made this over length anyway because I want to cut it back, but just to get it onto the uh, onto the uh, the cable first, we'll uh, do it like that. Right? Okay. We should be ready to go now with that. It may get snagged up in there as you go along, so you just have to be careful with it. Pull that out there a bit. Uh, see, there we go. Slowly. Slowly but surely getting in there, push it in there and then let it just, it's the, it's the conductors you see they get snagged up on the, on the, uh, on the nylon. Oh, okay that's not going to work like that so I'm going to just get some tape to go around the, um, to go around the conductors there and then we'll be able to um right so i've got some uh, ptfe tape here which i'm just going to wrap around the conductors there just so they don't they don't get caught up then we can pull that off afterwards because it's annoying this when it don't go through very easy there we go just get that round like that and then that should go through easier now I can just pull them off after there we go look at that lovely jubbly as Del Boy used to say there we go very nice braid this is it looks like a snake but it'll give a very nice finish to a very high quality power cord Push that right up like that. Now, as I say, you can use this for speaker cable as well. Right, so there we have it. Just pop that out the end there. Got a little snag up there, right at the bloody end there. We go. Ah, beautiful. There we go. Look at that. Straight out of there like that. Right. So now, what we need to do now is we need to use some heat shrink over the end of that. Now, I did choose this gauge heat shrink, but it looks like it may be a bit too uh, too thin. It might go over there. Just see whether I can get that over there. See, when you open it up like that, it looks a bit thin. So I'll go to the next gauge, which is that size there. You don't have to use any heat shrink on it. You can do it without heat shrink. But uh, I like to keep do, do use the heat shrink because it keeps it all nice in place. Nicely in place. So we're just going to take this heat shrink and uh, cut it in half. There we go. Now we're going to flip this over here like so. Take that up to there. That's going to start, it tries to start pulling back a bit. So you just have to, I mean, all you guys that are regulars to this channel will know a lot about this already anyway. But um, the ones that, you know, all you new guys that are watching this for the first time. So we're going to take our heat shrink up to there. And now what we need to do is to turn off our soldering iron and move that away and then put on our heat gun now if you've seen the other uh, handmade cables that I make the silver the silver cladded copper um, they are considerably better than this this is this is still a very very lovely cable though so um, and I think I'll, you'll find that a lot of you guys would prefer making this and you do the other ones because they get quite complicated so right so let's just heat 
let's just shrink this down around here don't go too far to the braid keep the gum back a bit because what will happen is it'll melt the braid so I don't want to sink that right down as far as it'll go right so that's one one end now we want to come to this end now see now that's got a bit too big now you see so what we need to do is to cut that back a little bit um, I can't wear the scissors. These scissors are not the best ones, they're a bit blunt, these ones. Right, one second, I'm just going to get my other scissors to do that with because uh, them ones are a bit blunt. Right, so here we have our better scissors. Just snip that up there like that. There we can look how sharp they are. Uh, how far do we need to go a bit more than that? Yes, we do. It's about there. Take that round there, snip that round there. Right. Now I'm hoping the soldering iron is still hot here. Just to singe these. These on the back there again. Yep, still hot enough. Shows how hot these bloody things get. Right, that'll do that. Right, let's move that back out of the way again. And now what we can do is we can slide this piece on from the other end. Right over the top and down that way. So it saves pushing the nylon braid back again because it keeps on wanting to go back otherwise. There we go. Look at that. Right, so at this point we're going to pull our nylon braid up like that to about there. There we go. Bring it back very slightly. I want to get it just in the right place about there. Now heat this up again. Pull that round. Now see that there. It's very easy to melt that braid there. Just melt it very slightly there. That's what I say. So you need to tickle it back. Keep it away from the braid. There we go. Right. I'm just going to check the camera again to make sure that it's still filming and that. Otherwise it's going to be... Bit of a nightmare if it's gone off. No, we're still going, guys. So, there we go. Right, so let's remove this away. So, we have now officially got our cable made up nice with the heat shrink on it. So, all we've got to do now is to terminate this. But before we do that, what I want to do is I just want to spray some deoxid over the contacts, over the conductors here, uh, just to make sure everything's nice and neat. There we go. A bit over that one. Give it a wipe off. Okay, we're going to do the same to this end now as well. in a little bit of this stuff today for some reason right so that's it so now this end is going to be our mains plug end okay so we've got our mains plug there okay and we've got the uh, the cable clamp at the back there on this so uh, we just need to undo that a little bit so we can thread all the uh, the wire through now, I've got loads of these in Furatec in my system. And the reason I don't like them is, is because the plating kept on scraping off really easy. As soon as you've pulled your plug in and out a few times, the plating comes off and it's a disaster. And also, 
these back clamps tend to snap easy. So you, you don't want to over tighten them really because it, it, there's a lot of pressure on them. And the other cables that I made originally for my system back a while ago now is uh, they, they're they very thick as well. And, and when you start clamping them down, they're hard and that's when they can break these, uh, these clamps. Right, so we, now we've got that. So we've just got to push that through now. All right, okay, it needs to come open a bit more than that still. Now, as you can see, that slipped back a bit now. So I need to pull that back up again. Take that up to there. So we can get that through. Right, okay, so that's all right. There we go. Right, there we go. So we've got that over there. Now, just the way that the makeup of this cable is, it, it, it's curling that way. So it's, uh, so, right. So when we get this into here, we're going to use the, um, the white as the neutral. And we're going to be using the, the clear, the clear copper as the uh, the live because that's more resemblance to red and so right so you can see in there so we've just got to undo the uh, terminals here so they are virtually right undone there that one needs to come undone that one's already undone right okay so this is going to be a bit more difficult to show you on here. So um, so we're going to put the earth in and all of them in together, first of all, because it's going to be difficult to, um, because they're very thick, it's difficult to get them in place. Right, okay, so there we go. That's our earth in there. Right, so let's tighten that one up first, the earth. That's in there. Now, when you want to tighten up really hard, you need a flat screwdriver, really. <sighs> right, that's nice and tough, that is. Now, that's in there, lovely. Right, so now we're going to go on to the sides. Now, if you've noticed, I'm not putting a suppressor in this plug because I don't need one for what I'm doing, but you can put a suppressor in there as well. You've seen them on my other videos. Check out my other videos. Uh, about the suppressors and they go between the live and the neutral right. okay how are we getting on there that's nearly up just got to give it a bit more tightening tightening See how that is. Yeah, that's nice. That's gone in very nice and tight. That has. Now it's just this one now. That's what we've got to get in, which is the uh, the, the neutral. Right, okay, so that's gone on the other side of that. So that's got to go up like that. As you can see, I hope you can see this. It's not great, but there we go. So we've got that in there, and now we just need to tighten it. There we go. Right, so that's gone in lovely. So that is our, our plug on there. Now what I want to show you first before I do that is we're going to get that out there. Now we've got our mains fuse in here. Okay, so we're just going to flip that out for the minute. Now this mains fuse is just a Bushman fuse. 
So before we go any further, we just want to clean it with some deoxit first. I will change this fuse to a uh, a gold one, but before the video, I thought I had another gold one, but I haven't, so I need to get some more. So we're going to give that a good clean with, with the deoxit, and then we're going to put some deoxit gold on it as well. Pro gold. Which is another contact enhancer. Right, okay, so you want to just put it around there nice and neatly. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat the inside of the uh, fuse holder with this Pro Gold as well. Just the two sides of the, uh, the inside there. You probably can't see that from this video, from this angle, but um, you'll get the gist of what's going on there. Right, okay, so we've treated the uh, the inside there as well. Um, but what we want to do is we just want to wipe the excess off of the inside of the plug there. We don't want to leave too much of that Pro Gold in there. So we just push the cloth into there. You can use the cotton bud if you've got one handy. Um, there we go. So now we're just going to clean the excess the Pro Gold off of there and put the fuse back in. There we go, that's snapped back in. We can snap the cover back on. So that is our plug all firm. Look, that's not going anywhere, that's nice and strong that is. So now what we want to do is we want to bring our back, the back housing of the plug up. Um, and we want to fit that over the top there, back onto there. go now where this uh where this uh wants to slip back you see it's slipped back quite a bit that has the uh the nylon braid so i want, don't want that to do that at the moment i want to just push this up further you know it's funny when you make these yourself on a video everything just goes very smooth and easy when you're doing it on a video it's never that easy it's always a bit more difficult so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take that off of there for a minute. Just so I can get the... Uh, that's it. That should have opened it up even bigger now, hopefully. So I want to push that right up to there now. Okay. I'll get this around the right way now. What is the right way? That's the right way. Okay, push that right up, it's slipped out again there, again, you see. See, because I've got nobody filming this, I'm uh, I'm just going to just let the camera roll and you'll see what you'll see. Push that right up again there. Right, okay, that is, that's fine now. Right, so that is the right way. Right, so we've pushed that on nice and neat there. Right, now we've just got to screw these down, the screws down on the end there. You've got to be careful with all of these screws and that, not to over tighten anything because all of the uh, the casings are just the same as any other plug made of a plastic material of some sort and you don't want to damage the uh... There we go, so don't over tighten stuff too much Right, so that's that in there. So now all we need to do now is just to straighten our Cable up onto the, the plug there If You can see that there now we just want to tighten down the clamp, the cable clamp at the back. Okay, gradually getting there. See, this is the bit where you don't want to over tighten either because you can, you can, this is where the, uh, this plastic can land up 
getting snapped. Right, okay, so what I need to do there, oh, I see that one there. Is that going in? Yes, it is. Right, okay, tighten that a bit more than that. That's about right now, just a little bit more on that one there. Don't want to, I'm always wary about snapping these. I've done them so many times on the Furatex, and uh, they're bloody expensive, so I don't really even want to snap these ones. Right, okay, so I'm just going to give that one little last tweak. Famous last words. That's it. Right, so there we've got our plug on that end our mains plug so now we're going to turn our attention to the opposite end here now uh, which is our IEC again so we need to take off the uh, cable clamp off the back there again so we're going to lift those up so these ends are, are using uh, brass screws or gold plated probably gold plated brass screws the other end was using more steel stainless steel fuses uh, screws right. let's take that off as far as it can go there we go. Yeah, so you've got a nice big opening there as well you can see that it's nice and large all right so we need to undo our screws on the front there Now also, because this is a, uh, a 20 amp, we won't really need to, I'm not putting a suppressor in this, as I say, for this one, because it's going on to. So if you see inside there, you've got these plastic pieces that, that, that's, that the, um, the screws screw into. Now again, you don't want to over tighten those either. I can't stress this more because it's, it's a bugger. So, um, so now we're going to be pushing our cable through here. That's gone over there, beautiful, look at that. Excellent. And now, these are our terminals there. So we need to open those up nice and large because uh, this is a uh, very wide conductor. As I say before, said before, right, that one there. And that one there. Right, I'm just going to check the camera again, make sure it's going still. <sighs> Otherwise, I'll be speeding along the camera of shut off again, and then that'll be it. No, we're all doing well. I think the first part of the video was filmed in 4K, and then this part is filmed in 1080p because the problem with 4K is you you don't have a lot of um, uh. It takes up a hell of a lot of memory so you can only film about six minutes or so right so now so we've got our ground our live and our neutral now, see look this is very strange this is so they've got the ground there and they've got the live now they use a w on this for some reason because these come from uh china so but anyway so i'm sure that's class as the neutral so we're just going to do the same thing again. We're going to pop all our cables into place. There we go. Pull that down there. We want to make sure that goes in nice and neat down the side there. Then just start. What I'll do is I'll start screwing up the, uh, the live first. I mean, I mean the earth first. Okay. I'm hoping that that's, that's gone in there nice and tight. Doesn't seem like that is actually. Yeah. What's going on there? Oh, that's gone in nice and tight. 
Mm, don't know if something's gone wrong with that. I'll have to just pull that out a minute. Let's just take that out of there. Double check that's all right. Yeah, that's fine, yeah, 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 it wasn't in properly, so we'll go again, uh, so the live, luckily I've got that round the wrong way nearly, so this is the live there and the neutral right, okay, I'll try to turn this over now, it's very awkward, so we're going to put the live in there, on the earth, I'll tell you what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to do it the other way around, I'm going to tighten up the live first because it's just easier to do it. But we need to get that one in as well, the neutral. See, you're dealing with some seriously thick gauge conductors, you see. So it's never easy doing this. Um, so, I'm doing it off there. Getting uh, the live in there and the neutral into there. Right, there we go. We'll get the uh, the neutral in first there. Start tightening that up. Any questions you've got on this, just 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 post them in the comments below. It's uh, as I say, it's never easy doing these these uh, videos on uh, stuff like this. Right, okay, so we're going to get the live in place now. I'm going to bring that down there. Uh, That was the wife knocking on the door saying my dinner's done. <laughs> right, so we've got that in there. We've got the live and the neutral in place there. I'm going to tighten that down as much as we can. There we go. Brilliant. So, now we just want to thread all our earth wire around the side here and up into there that's it make sure that's in Nope, that's not in. Take it right down again. Oh, why is that not in? There we go. That's better. Push it in nice and tight now. There you go. Oh. <clears throat> there we go. They're all clamped down lovely now. So we're double checking, we've got the live there, the neutral and the earth in place. Uh, so you can see, you can probably see why a lot of these cables are expensive uh, in the sense that they're, they're quite fiddly to put together. Um, still nothing like making the ones I make from scratch, which are quite fiddly. They really are. That's why a lot of you guys, I thought I'd introduce you to this type of cable because it's, uh, it's a lot easier to produce. And it still gives you a very good, uh, a very good uh, mains cable. Now, it's got, so this has got a little line there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You see that little line there, and it has a little uh, groove part in the in the, the housing of the plug there. And we've got to just get that 
there we go that's gone straight in there right so now so we're just going to screw the plug down again now doesn't want to, does that don't feel like that's screwing in there whoops whoops that's that's flung out there right so another look at that make sure that's going in right Right, that's one in there. Whew. Hot stuff doing this. Let's get that back up there. There we go, that's going in nice now. now the problem with these, these plastic back housings, they all use them. Um, there's a few that are using some metal ones now. They can get hold of the metal ones. They're even better um, Because uh, if you if you have to remove that in and out a few times it, it can become quite difficult now If you notice they're nicely lined up All I've got to do now is just to pull this braid this uh, nylon braid back up Because I want to try to thread all that through into there Into the plug there so I can clamp it down. I don't really want that Sticking out like that. There we go. Get that right up and down into there. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. Right. So we just want to screw this down. Do a bit either side first. And try to keep the uh, the plug fairly evenly straight. Okay. Again, don't over tighten these too much. Um, obviously, they've got to be secure, but you don't want to go mad where you've uh, where you're um, you're going to break the uh, break the clamp because it's easily done. Go a bit more there, bit more there. Right, I think that's about it. Just a couple more bits. I really get nervous at this point because, as I say, I've broke so many of these when I've over tightened them. Right, I think that I think that I'm going to leave it there at that point. So. Here we have our mains cable made. But it's pretty basic. Like I've, I've burnt the braid there slightly. You know, even a professional like me can do that. Um, when I was shrinking down the heat shrink there, but um, hey, that's just a price I got to pay for for uh, doing these on videos. It's very difficult. So now all I'm going to do now is I just want to put some uh, Pro Gold on these contacts here. Just um, on these silver plated contacts this pro gold helps to uh, keep the um, the plate in a bit more uh, stops it oxidizing so easy I'm sure it's got other qualities as well but um right so I can't really get in the inside of there so I'm just gonna spray, spray a bit of deoxy in that in there just to keep it there we go now you wipe the pro gold off just leave a very smidgen on there so here we have it uh, excellent power cord made now look at that it looks fantastic and it actually sounds uh, 
just as good as it looks. So um, all I've got to say is thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching, guys.